Website, nextroundlive.com, the latest videos, podcasts, and college football stories. It's also a great way to stream the show or shop in the Next Round store. Stay connected by visiting nextroundlive.com. That's nextroundlive.com. Start your day online with our website, nextroundlive.com, for the latest videos, podcasts, and college football stories. It's also a great way to stream the show or shop in the Next Round store. Stay connected by visiting nextroundlive.com. Anheuser-Busch wants every experience for you around beer to be a good one. And getting home safely is always a priority. So encourage friends to decide to ride. Whether it's by being the designated driver, calling an Uber, or taking public transit. You cannot drive drunk if you don't drive there. This message is brought to you by Anheuser-Busch. Mothers Against Drunk Driving. Uber, Birmingham Budweiser, and the next round. Anheuser-Busch. St. Louis, Missouri. The Double Down Media Podcast family is live and full of content for all ages. The Mystery Fifth Hour gives the next round host a chance to talk about everything but sports. Pour a glass of Bama and bourbon. Our weekly college football conversation while sipping some of the most interesting pours in the bourbon world. And our Not For All Ages podcast, The Last Call. LT takes off the gloves for an in-depth conversation with stars like Taylor Hicks, presented by Redmond Vodka. Find those podcasts and more by searching The Next Round on Apple, Spotify, and on our website, Next nextroundlive.com. Follow Next Round Live on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube. The social media team at Next Round Live is dedicated to giving you daily news conferences and practice video from UAB, Alabama, Auburn, and around college football. Follow and compare to the sites you used to visit. You'll also get the latest highlights and news from the Next Round Daily Show. Turn on the notifications so you don't miss a thing. Follow Next Round Live on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube. See more at nextroundlive.com. There's nothing I like more than a unique, delicious meal. And that's what you get at Champy's World Famous Fried Chicken right on Highway 119 in Alabaster. Those great full fried chicken plates, the tenders, the poor boys. But I love the southern staple chicken on a stick. It's perfect for a tailgate or watching the big game. And then the authentic Mississippi Delta recipe, homemade tamales, the best I've ever tasted. See the whole menu or order online at champyschicken.com. For blues, brews, and bird, it's Champy's Chicken, Highway 119, Alabaster. Summer weather is finally here. Make sure your air conditioner is ready for the Alabama heat. Adam, Chad, and the team at Hemphill are the ones to call for all of your HVAC needs. Hemphill Services is a locally owned and operated independent train dealer, and the team can service all makes and models. Get the guys at Hemphill Services to make sure your HVAC unit is ready to help you beat the Alabama heat this summer. For all of your plumbing, heating, and cooling needs, do what I do. Call Hemphill Services. It's hard to stop a train. 205. 205- 229-2090. Major League Baseball, the NBA, when the time is right, we may do a little Canadian football too. There's always some action for you at Lanceslog.com, where we have my top picks for you in every league every single day. All it takes, $3 a day. $90 monthly subscriptions get you everything. No confusing packages or any shadiness. It's all simple and 100% transparent. Try it out and win with me. Go to lanceslock.com. There's a free play every single day. Again, online, all your winners every day. Go to lanceslock.com. The long hours of summer are great for golf at the Jerry Pate Design Timberline Golf Club. The course is in fantastic condition, and if you don't have time for a round of golf, come use Timberline's Trackman Driving Range. You can practice, play games, and play virtual golf all on the practice tee. Come enjoy your day on one of Alabama's top 10 courses you can play. It's Timberline Golf Club. Timberline is easy to get to just off I-65 at exit 228. Book tee times online at TimberlineGC.com. Tee it up at Timberline. When it comes to choosing a dentist, two things are critical, trust and comfort. Brian Brown here from the next round. It's why I tell you about Stone Creek Dental Care. Dentist owned and operated and Stone Creek Dental Care is the Southeast premier provider of comprehensive dental care. With more than 20 locations, including Birmingham, Chattanooga, Huntsville, Trustville, and Montgomery, Stone Creek Dental Care is able to provide a level of quality care you will not find anywhere else. From your basic cleaning to restorative dentistry, cosmetics, and endodontics, Stone Creek Dental Care covers a wide 
wide and comprehensive range of dental services for patients of any age. Stone Creek Dental Care's mission is to provide the highest quality dental care to every single patient in an environment that exemplifies the highest ethical, personal, compassionate, and professional standards, and to provide the best patient experience possible. Stone Creek Dental Care is currently accepting new patients at all locations, and new patients get a free Chick-fil-A gift card at your first appointment. So visit StoneCreekDentalCare.com to find a location nearest you. StoneCreekDentalCare.com. Follow Dunaway on Twitter and Instagram at Jim Dunaway. Jim Dunaway, Lance Taylor, Ryan Brown, and Rockstar. Live from the Birmingham Racecourse Casino Studios, the next round, presented by Bud Light, is on now. Live show now on a Monday, a new week. And if I told you we're seven days from SEC Media Days, would that surprise you or interest you? Uh, it interests me a lot because it tells you how close we are to the football season. It's really exciting. Uh, SEC Media Days, I think you guys agree with me, is one of the more exciting events for us. Uh, getting to see a lot of media members from around the country that we only get to see a couple of times a year. And just talking nothing but SEC football, and I, I mean, it's here. I, I forget, Brown. Did we have fun last time it was in Atlanta? I, I you know, we go well, on we so many trips. Mornings, yeah. yeah, we go on so many trips. Was it? Oh, it was, right. We were in the mornings. Uh, all I remember is the first hour being very quiet. I took us to a good dinner. Yes. Super Rica. A little, a little Texas, was that the right? uh, Mexican joint? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, that was good. I, um... All I remember is we were crammed in a ballroom, which is not where we'll be this time. We'll be in the College Football Hall of Fame. So that sucked. We were mornings. That stung. Um, I just remember every day at 10, we'd get done, and I would head to a local golf course. I think I played all four days I was there. In fact, I know I played all four days I was there. And then I'd meet you guys for dinner at night. I think I went back and took a nap, and then I think I was running then. I think I went for a run every day wow. while you were on the golf course. Listen, I'm surprised that way. <laughs> Even I'm surprised I, by I that. I would go to the. Uh, <laughs> I went to the pool every day when we got done, <laughs> yeah. and then I would get a little workout hey, in, guys, and then we go huh? to dinner. Getting after it. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, yeah. we did our work, Rockstar. What more do you want us to do? Yeah. So we're Rockstar back. likes us to suffer on these trips. He wants some suffering. That's all I want is people to suffer. No, no. The one thing you do not want us to do on these trips is do anything fun. That's what we always heard I, about it for Rockstar. Oh, they got to go on these trips. It's, no, never, never once said. Oh, we, no, I said you, you guys have to pound on going on these trips because it is hard work. It is hard work. golf course, everybody. I mean, but <laughs> it's so know. such hard work it what is. we do and everything. Like I had to get a run in and golf. Like that's what this. That's what I. That's why I laugh. About I would it. ask right. you if you wanted to go. Oh, uh, be because miserable. you would hate to go. You'd be miserable. I don't but you might want to go now because of Young Cord. No. Well, no. <laughs> he's Rockstar, what are you doing? Uh, I'm uh, heading back to the room to sleep and <laughs> yeah, sit that's quiet. That's what he would do. He's a, well, I don't play golf here, and I don't go to the pool here. So I'm, I just do my thing. I'm not, so yeah. I'm not – no, 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 no. So don't get me wrong. What I'm telling you is when you say we we work our asses off. I've never golf said course, that. Everybody, I've never said that. I'll, I hear the grind a lot. It is a There's grind. One, one person that brings I, up the grind. I have never, I have never, I've, 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 I never used I've the never phrase the grind. I don't use the phrase grind. I'll tell you, it's hard work. It's Especially not hard if work, you, way. when it's, I when I back in my back in my, back in my TV show. days when I would have to do that well, and then go that. do TV. That was oh, a you're grind. Working two gigs. Yeah, Rock, you've never heard me say it's a grind. Mornings were a grind. Just oh, that was just having waking to up. get up. Oh, yeah. Oh, 100%. Can I remind you guys, though, I don't want to call it a grind. We've got one extra hour next week. That's right. That is the grind. Hey, we're doing five hours. That's right. Five hours. We will not wake up earlier. We'll stack one on the back end. That's right. Because we're afternoon people. So stack one on the back end. We'll be on an extra hour all next week yeah. from Atlanta, you know, so you know, excitement. You know what that's created, right, sir? I've had to adjust all my tea times. No, I was going to say, are yeah. you going to be able to play? Oh, yeah. It doesn't get dark over there until like 9 o'clock. Yeah, no golf for me. I have not been invited. So no, you're welcome to go. Clubs are clubs are staying. Uh, I doubt we'll, that. We'll we'll see how it goes today. If if Brown and I can survive another round of golf together again today. Wait, you only <laughs> playing again today? Yeah, I'll play as much as I can. Well, how was not going out this weekend? I played yesterday. Of course, he what? went yeah. out. Nobody didn't think he was going to do that. Almost played 36 yesterday. <laughs> oh. My buddy John Willard was this close to uh, including me in a morning tea time. He invited oh. me for an afternoon tea time, but I ended up. 
bouncing to one of our sponsors, Bent Brook, in the afternoon. My buddy Mike Kennedy and played 18 holes with uh, Chris Stewart and his 11-year-old son, Hudson, who beat me by about 14 strokes. Yeah, Hudson can play, man. Yeah. Good player. 11 beat me by 14 Chris, that's strokes. That's Chris's retirement plan right there. Yeah, so it worked out good. But, I, you know, I may take the clubs to Atlanta. You never know. But it's uh, seven days away from SEC Media Days. We'll talk more about that. As always, they try to plan this for All-Star break, right? Well, it has coincided with All-Star break, and that has been really, really good for the SEC because I don't know if you notice, but during the All-Star break, there's not a ton of sports to attend to, which means ESPN, who is heavily invested in the SEC, is looking for anything to do. And this was a smart move. I don't know how many years ago the SEC did this. It's been a number of years. A smart move by them to have it on All-Star Weekend because ESPN is starving for stuff. Well, in an early taste, it's going to be. I mean, the headline going into to Monday SEC Media Days is going to be Nick Saban, Jimbo Fisher. Oh, That's there's right. no that and conference realignment. Those are the yeah. two things that will absolutely dominate this event. Yeah, but Mark Stoops, you know, said something last week on Friday that we didn't really – Thursday, actually, on Kentucky Sports Radio. We didn't even talk about it Friday. And – uh it, I think it was more damning than what Nick Saban said at the World Games 50-day out I agree. And because it was Mark Stoops and his Kentucky football, nobody's talking about it. But basically, to sum it up, he said, we're having to go against people that are getting paid. Yeah, that well, I know I, are getting paid and not a, not all above board is what right. he said. Basically, as, he was saying some illegal money. As we said the day Saban was sitting next to you and Nate Oates and said this, Dunaway, he is not alone in this feeling. No. He is just... I don't know if Saban is – I don't I don't want to say he's getting old like Peter Woods, the uh, Thompson kid that's going to Clemson, basically said. I don't want to say he's getting old. I don't know if he's dropped the filter. I don't know what has happened to Nick Saban. I don't, I don't guess he really cares. He's just going to say how he feels. So he was at least bold enough to say it. He is not alone in feeling it. You know, I think recruiting could be a big storyline when we get to Atlanta a week from now because um, it seems like, you know, we do not do a recruiting show here. Um, but Forrester, if you can give me – Actually, Rockstar, if you can give me cut one, Peter Woods, the big five-star commitment uh, from down at Thompson, who uh, five-star defensive lineman who picked Clemson uh, over Alabama, and he was an Ala- he even admits it, he was an Alabama guy all along until he made a visit up there to hang out with Dabo and. Dabo did the old, you know, you and I were born in the same hospital right there, Shelby Memorial. <laughs> did Dabo give him that chain? <laughs> uh, I, I assume that's not all real diamonds. If so, I would not make that assumption. No, I, yeah. I, don't, I don't think Liz Taylor had one like that. <laughs> I assume if it was all, if it was all real diamonds, we'd need the Royal Guard walking around with him. Um, but he did make this comment about what Brown is insinuating here that. Uh, um, he uses a different word than young and old, but this is Peter Woods who made the commitment on Friday after our show. Dabo, to me, is a lot more lively. Uh, he's a lot more understanding of, of teenage life. And, you know, he, he, always, he says all the time he specializes in 18 to 24-year-old men. So, and I, I really believe that's true. Well, out of context, that is a weird right. sentence right yeah. there. Yeah. But I think we know what Peter wants to say. And that's like uh, a, a magician, how he's doing his hat. It's yeah. like it's rising yeah, up. It's like it's photoshopped. <laughs> I mean, that's crazy. <laughs> I want to wear a hat, but I don't want it to like, touch my skull. You guys probably never watched Oz on uh, HBO. You know, I missed that episode. Well, it was a prison yeah. drama, and it would run back-to-back with Sopranos. It was really good. But anyway, Ida B.C., one of these characters, he had this hat that like sat on the back of his head, and I never understood it. Uh, but, Tyler's right. It looks like he's wearing a construction hat. No, Tyler is right. I got to go over to the yard and take care of business after committing to the Clemson Tigers. Yeah, so there, um, that's Peter Woods from this yeah, past yeah. week, and there were a couple other commitments, and people are starting to wonder about Alabama recruiting, but <laughs> it seems like it was this time last year that they were also were in the same spot. You know, I think down the road, we're leaning more and more to Nick Saban putting we'll, – we'll see, we'll see how this all shakes out at the end for Alabama and Georgia – but is there a chance that his philosophy changes a little bit where he ends up getting more and more of the Jameer Gibbs of the world and not well, not as much of the high school guys? I, I think you wonder which is the most sustainable model. Is it hammering the transfer portal, as, as, as Lane Kiffin is trying to do, and as Nick Saban has done pretty well, by the way, or is it go get the big NIL deals like Jimbo Fisher is doing? Which one is the more sustainable model? Which one do you think can work longer a 35 million dollar signing class or we'll spend a little bit on nil but i'm really gonna let somebody develop a kid and let me get some good college football film on him and then i'll go convince him to come play for us because we're a better team than what you're playing for yeah right i would rather have the guy that is proven but it gets dangerous because then you run off some of these recruits it's got to be a balance yeah 
Yeah. And, and, and these guys are going to have to learn the art of it. And I'm sure Nick Saban has been able but, to evolve in every single capacity when it comes to college football. He'll figure it out. But as of right now, the Jimbo Fisher model looks pretty good. He just signed one of the best classes in the history of, of class rankings, right? But is, is it going to work? I don't know. I mean, we'll have to see. I mean, that, that, that takes time to tell if this is a good model. Is that uh, another example of people, uh, you know, recruiting against Nick Saban's age? Well, you know, a lot yeah. of people say Sweeney. that, but Nick's only a year older than he was last year when he had the number two signing class in the country. Am I right about that? <laughs> That's I mean, right, and played for a national championship. But, but the, the interesting thing about that is it kind of goes against the narrative of Dabo Swinney of late, is that Dabo is out of touch with today's player, that he doesn't like the NIL deals. He doesn't like the transfer portal. He wants it to be the way it was when he played at Alabama back in the 90s under Coach Stallings. You know, that's that's kind of the narrative on Jimbo Fisher, and you hear one of the top recruits in the country say the exact opposite. There. It seemed like a planted line from the Dabo camp to – Kind of felt that way, yeah. You know, lively. We're more lively than they are there. What's his demographic? Uh, 18 to 24-year-old boys. <laughs> yeah. I mean, that is a- Clay Aiken loved it too. Yeah. <laughs> That'll, agree. that'll get you some swipes on Tinder. Uh, I, I, here we go now. So that's, that's a, that's a interesting <laughs> comment from Peter that we will uh, look at as we move throughout the show. A lot to get to, uh, but a couple of programming notes before LT tells us about Dr. B, who's got his hair growing back to perfect shape. Um, kickoff party, August the 16th, so circle that date. But this week, a couple of chances to come out and hang out with us. Um, we've got some specialty shows tomorrow. We're down with the Barons. It's T-shirt night at Regions Field. Uh, gates open at 6. First 1,000 adults get a Barons T-shirt. Uh, not a next round T-shirt, a Barons T-shirt. But we'll be down there with a the specialty show tomorrow afternoon and then hanging out. And uh, one of us is singing the Take Me Out to the Ball Game seventh inning stretch. Is it you? Um, I don't think it's me. Is it you? <laughs> Me out to the <laughs> it's ball not you. Game. Take me out to. It's not me. It's Rockstar. That's right. I'm not going to spoil. It. I'm not going to go ahead. And do, do you know that. the words though? I do. Is it we still do the peanuts and cracker jacks, yeah. or is it because there's have you ever done versions. this? Have you ever done that? You've no. done the national anthem. You've never done this. No. Have you? Are you, you going to inject Barons? Take. No, I want to say we're root for the win, for the Cubbies. You know what you're supposed to say? <laughs> do it, can, please do it like Harry Carey. Can you do it, give us a little Harry Carey? No, doing I'm not, it? You got to come to the game. Oh, come on, Rocky. Are you doing for, it as Harry Carey? You got, I, I don't know who I'm doing it. For that. 20 bucks, will you put Mariners in there instead? <laughs> <laughs> are, they, are they playing the Biscuits? <laughs> They're playing the Smokies. Oh, the Smokies. Yeah. Smokies goes back. I think. No, it may be the Biscuits. You're right. Oh, um, the Smokies last week. Now, didn't we, weren't we told Rockstar will be doing this standing on top of the first base dugout? Did, did I hear that correctly? I did hear that, yes. Oh, I didn't hear that. Yeah. That excites me. Are you. <laughs> <laughs> Are you going I can to read it all over your face? <laughs> yes. <laughs> I mean, it's it's in the seventh inning stretch, right? The odds of Lance being there are pretty low to begin. Yeah, with. I mean, well, Brown. No, I'll stay to watch this. Uh, that that's the problem. Why did you not do the national anthem? I, I didn't think have he, a choice there. I don't Lance. think he was off for the national. Yeah, anthem. Can you switch? I, I would love to. That'd be great. Um, I think who's doing the anthem? I think we should make it. Not one of us. Not one. I think we should make an effort to be there when Rockstar sings. And well, that's, I'm going that's our to be getaway. There. No, that's I'm our going getaway. To be there. I'll leave right after, but I want to see Rockstar sing. Lance, it's the seventh inning. Or what time is the show? What time is the show we're doing? I don't 5:30? know. I, I was waiting for you to jump in with that. I, swear, I, think, I, it's, it was, I think it's five to six. Well, it's changed. I don't know. We'll double check on that. <laughs> What's well, Thursday? I mean, people got time to plan. No, it's Tuesday. tomorrow. No, it's tomorrow. Tuesday. Oh, yeah, the other one's Thursday. Yeah, yeah it's tomorrow. Yeah. Five, oh. If it was Thursday, I'd stay to the seventh yeah. inning. Yeah. <laughs> you would not. <laughs> oh, I ate. Well, you I, would not. Hey, so uh, are you going to ham it up or are you going to do it straight? I don't know. I don't know what they – it depends on what they want, what they no, have I, parameters. No, you do not what? ask them what they want. They yeah. have asked you to do this. You make okay. it yours. Yeah. I, don't, I, I, I mean, the national anthem, you cannot – Yeah, you're not going to ham that up. You can't joke around with, yeah. but – but take me out of the ball game. America can... the Beautiful. Well, you she know? screwed it up. Yeah, I, I look, got fingers crossed reaction. you come out like Elton John at Dodger Stadium, but you've got a Barron awesome. sequence. Uh-oh. If you can get me that, I can get you a Will sequence you outfit. It? Yeah, it's yeah. got to be the. I got to be the Bears, Barron's jersey. Yeah, I, I'm looking forward to that. So tomorrow at a time to be announced, I think it's five to six. Could be four to five. Uh, set your alerts. Four to like and subscribe. Okay, it's not four to five. Brown says. Doesn't know what time it is, but he knows what know, time so it's not. Do we know where we're actually doing the show from? Yeah, we're a suite. We got a suite in the uh, Regions Field. Okay, good. Yeah, that's what we're doing the show from. So looking forward to that tomorrow. Come on out to the Barons game, barons.com for tickets. On Thursday, we're in Trussville, unless Brown tells me different, at a place called Axe Downtown, Axe Throwing Thursday. And we're there four to five with a live specialty show from that, uh, according to my email. And that's Thursday, four to five at Axe 
downtown in Trustful. We'll be doing a specialty show. Some Ask Me Anythings this week on Tuesday and Thursday. Looking forward to that. Axe yep. downtown Trustful. Best axe toss you've ever seen. Uh, well, I've done one of those axe throw places. Uh, I was bad with the axe until somebody showed me how to handle the axe. Once you figure out how to handle it. You got an axe play? <laughs> I was, oh. I, but I was doing it all wrong. Yeah. There's a it's way. It's the placement of the fingers on the axe. No, 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 no. There is a, there is a method of tossing the axe that. You know who had, the, had it down pat? <laughs> the Yellow King. The best season oh, yeah. of television ever was season one, True Detective, but the axe throw, that final yeah. episode that hits uh, Woody Harrelson in the Jets, yeah, that's, right. a that's a great toss. It's yeah. a great toss. Was there any axe throwing in uh, Game of Thrones? Uh, you know, the Hound used an axe. No, he didn't. Um, I can't really remember. Was Jon Snow not good with an axe? I don't remember him using it. He didn't like yeah. that. He was a sword guy. That's where I, that's where I was going to go. It was a John Snow. But we'll throw some axes. Uh, Axe downtown, Trustville, 4 to 5 on Thursday. So those are our specialty shows. Uh, our show today being brought to you in part by our friend, Dr. B. Hey, look, with age, for most comes a little hair loss. When it started to happen to me, I asked around. Everybody said, call Dr. Beckenstein. Set up that consultation with Dr. B and his team. They perform genetic testing to determine the best course of treatment. It's cutting edge. Dr. B, the only one in the state offering it. He can target an individual's treatment based on their genetics, formulate compounds and prescriptions to their profile. This is a game changer. After I got those results, me and Dr. B had that virtual meeting, went over the options, with the non-invasive laser treatment which i used from the couch last night will help increase thickness and health of my hair excited to see those results in the next couple of months hey dr beckenstein has a uh, for 20 years women and men have turned to him for a range of cosmetic and reconstructive procedures call dr b today 205-319-0316 that's 205-319-0316 and tell him the next round sent you jacob i was going to bring that up uh instead of an ask us anything it'll be an access anything on thursday oh, well, it like will that. be that's yeah. a good idea 5 30 yeah. tomorrow by the way to put a bow on that one 5 30 tomorrow so 5 30 to yep. 6 30 that is right gates open at six. First 1000 adults get t-shirts tomorrow night barons.com will be there for the festivities we hope you join us there as well downtown the world games continue we'll talk to lauren sisler in the next segment she was covering uh, one sport yesterday break dancing i'll send some pictures to forrester she had a, a chance to hang out with the silver medalist and uh, sisler loves to dance we'll talk to her about her cbs colleagues and her coverage of the world games to this date we're at day four today a couple of results from yesterday uh flag football results um, U.S. men beat France 38-13. Wow. Yeah, flag football. Ran them off the field. Or is right. it still 7-8-6 in the extra point? I have no clue, Brown. Yeah, yeah, I think you can do uh, Go for extra two. point or two. Yeah. yeah. But they didn't cover the 27 and a half. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The women, though, I mean, it was tighter than experts expected. Women's American flag football team 31-25 over Panama. Oof. Oh, tight game. Yeah. Nice season opener, though. You know, the biggest improvement in flag football is between game one and game two. Uh, we're already to the semifinals in men's lacrosse. Great crowds for that down at UAB. The American team beat Australia 19-10. to They play in the semifinals today against Japan down at UAB. If you'd like to get down there and check out uh, that, you can get tickets at TWG2022.com. I saw Montana Fouts was pitching in one of two games yesterday for the American women. I don't have results for either one of those. Does anybody know if the American women won both for us or thumbs up? They beat up? Italy 6-0. Yeah, 6-0 over Italy. You got a uh, hand gesture on the final score of the other game and who they were playing. I'd love to – nobody say who the other game was against. Well, I know Montana closed out the Italy game. She yeah. was on the mound. She came out of the bullpen. 6 nothing. The yeah. closer. Maybe that'll be her role the entire time. Uh, just using hand gesture, Forrester, tell me the country. Let's see if we can guess. Uh, who, who the United States beat? He's going to do a hand gesture for a yeah. country? Yeah. Turkey. <laughs> do, do you even know who they beat like italy what would be italy italy would be this for me would be this what, what are you doing mamma mia mamma mia oh okay i see that one little win over japan no uh, <laughs> i will do it but scott do not do no not you cannot my, do it you cannot no, do don't, it. Don't, don't put them on, on camera you can get those but this is okay. don't put me on camera don't put them on camera <laughs> yeah, that's what he did. Well, <laughs> I would go <laughs> Chinese Taipei. There you go. <laughs> the Chinese typing, Taipei. No, the typing is what yeah. gave it away. Yeah. <laughs> All right. All right. Chinese Taipei.
<laughs> what so would Amsterdam? Way to go, Mayor. Give me Amsterdam. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, how do we? I thought you were going to do the shake weight. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, we'll talk to Sisler about the world games, but day four today, you can go to TWG2022.com. Another w- full week of festivities. Did you see and- Zach's? <laughs> <laughs> I did. Uh, and part of our show today <laughs> is being brought to you by the great folks at Champions Boxing. If you're looking to get in shape these days, uh, you can do it with our friends at Champions Boxing. I mean, listen, you get tired of doing the same old thing, right? In the, in the weight room, pushing weights around, treadmill, you, you know the routine. Uh, at Champions Boxing, they use the sport of boxing to uh, get you in better shape. And you can uh, check them out online at their social media site. It is Facebook and Instagram, Champions Boxing AL, Champions Boxing AL. I tell you all the time, this is not a fight club. Over 20 years of training experience, six USA Boxing Certified Trainers and USA Certified Gym right there. You can improve your self-confidence and discipline. Ages 7 and up, and a lot of classes just for women as well. Stephanie, one of the great female trainers in the area, right there, hitting a small bag. Uh, She'll help get you into shape as well. Reach your fitness goals this summer with our friends at Champions Boxing. Call 205-358-8176. 205 358 8176. Brown, is this a fight club? Well, no, it is not. Jim. It is not a, it's fight, not a club. fight club. It's our friends at Champions Boxing AL there. All right. Anything you want to comment okay, there? I'm, I'm just got, I'm, this is a slightly uncomfortable, but I'm going to have to tell them myself. Um, there's something going on at the Open Championship right now. I don't know if it's celebrities or whatever. We've got the Golf Channel on. Earlier this week, Tiger Woods was asked about his leg, and um, he said. You know, look, I'm always going to play golf, whether it's on this leg, if it's on somebody else's leg, if it's on a fake leg, or if I don't have a leg, I'm going to play golf. And there is a guy that's teeing off in some sort of event, and he's only got one leg, and he uh, just hit the impossible. golf ball. It's, no, it's incredible. It's and he impossible. just hit the golf ball on one leg. For a minute, and it just briefly, when I looked at the screen, I thought the golf channel was doing a simulation of what Tiger would look like playing with one <laughs> no leg. No way. Yes, I did. I was like, what are they even doing? And then I realized, oh, this is a legit guy with one leg playing golf, and he had a bomb on number one. But, but how do you do it? How do you watch like, him? Oh. Watch him. He'll, he'll see him right there? So do one leg. Watch him play, man. Wait. Oh, I see that. Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah, a guy yeah. playing golf with one leg. It's incredible. But that I thought amazing. they were showing what Tiger would look like only playing with one leg. And it, I, I guess he's got to be a lefty, though, right? <laughs> no, he's righty. I don't know why that matters. No, but because I would leg. think that you would rather have your back leg. You would have a little yeah. more power with the back yeah, leg. I don't know. I don't know if it, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. It's going to be difficult Never either way. Tried it. Pretty amazing. All right, Lauren Sisler, when we come back, uh, remember that image, though, that you just saw a guy overcoming. Uh, losing a leg to play in a pro am at the British Open today. We got a little uh, story that I'll try to make LT get emotional on later on. Uh-oh. But first, Lauren Sisler is next right here on TNR. Follow Rockstar on Twitter at RockstarBHM. Hey, Lance Taylor from the next round to tell you about my friends at Michelson Laser Vision, located conveniently UAB Highlands. Almost 20 years ago, I went in for the procedure. Only took 12 minutes for both eyes. When I went in, I had 2200 vision. I was legally blind. Now I have 2015 vision, still 19 years later. Make the call today. Schedule a hassle-free consultation. 969-8100. Dr. Mark Michelson, Dr. Jen Michelson, Michelson Laser Vision. Make sure you tell them the next round sent you. 969-8100 or Michelson and laservision.com. Culver's could have only started in Wisconsin. Hi, just ask our team member, Sarah. When you order a Culver's Butter Burger, you're never just a customer. You're a guest in our home. It's why we cook each Butter Burger to order just for you, right down to getting the perfect sear on the beef. That extra care may be a small town thing, but it's big time important to us. Let us serve you with a smile that stretches from our hometown to yours. Welcome to Delicious. A legendary coach once said, it's not the will to win that matters, it's the will to prepare to win. Bryant bankers have the dedication and experience to put together a financial game plan that's right for you. Stop by one of the seven Central Alabama locations today or give them a call at 1-855-4-BRYANT to begin preparing for your financial future today. You'll find out what unbeatable service and legendary results are all about. Bryant Bank, Equal Housing Lender, Member FDIC. 
summer of 2022. It's time to do something new. Ocean City, Maryland. And our friends at Residence Inn by Marriott, Ocean City is ready to welcome you. Kayak from Bayside Beach, swim in the Atlantic, dine at Bayview Bar and Grill, local golf packages, great restaurants, and a lot more. See everything online at residenceinnoc.com. Check them out on Instagram and Facebook. Do something different this summer. Residence Inn by Marriott, Ocean City, Maryland. Double the fun and more ways to win at Victoryland Casino and Birmingham Racecourse Casino. Come play thousands of your favorite games featuring fun bonuses and big jackpots. The Trucks and Bucks giveaway is going on right now. We're giving away two Chevy Z71 trucks and $50,000. The more you visit, the more chances you have to win. Drawings May 13th and 14th. Come win at Victoryland Casino and Birmingham Racecourse Casino. Must be 21 or older. Must be present to win. Things fall apart. There's even a book about it, but that doesn't mean you have to break the bank to fix them. Ryan Brown here for the next round. Our friends at Mortgage Ride have a new renovation option that will make repairs and other home improvements easy. If you've recently purchased a home and find yourself short on cash or you're looking to buy a fixer-upper, Mortgage Ride's renovation loan program can help you spruce up your space. Repairs can be made to your roof, plumbing, flooring, and more with the help of top-notch mortgage professionals. So get your fix by visiting mortgageride.com TNR and MLS 2239 equal housing lender. Hey, Lance Taylor from the next round to tell you about our friends at One Man in a Toolbox. One Man in a Toolbox has provided professional handyman services since 1997. Honesty and reliability are qualities that embody every one of their employees. From residential to commercial, One Man in a Toolbox, they've got a background to help you with almost any project. I've used them multiple times at my home. Give them a call today. Get that free estimate, 205-823-2111. That's 205-823-2111 or online, One man in the toolbox.com. Stay up to date with the next round on the website, nextroundlive.com. The latest videos from the show, plus podcasts like The Mystery Fifth Hour, Bama and Bourbon, Last Call, and others from our Double Down Media podcast family. You can start your day with the latest college football stories, plus easy to listen to hour-by-hour downloads of the live show. Nextroundlive.com, a great way to stream the show live or shop in the Next Round store. Make nextroundlive.com your homepage. That's nextroundlive.com. Your 24-hour home for the show is our website, nextroundlive.com. Easy links to the day's top stories in the morning rounds, plus the latest videos from the show, podcasts like Bama and Bourbon, The Mystery Fifth Hour, Last Call, and other shows from our Double Down Media podcast family. Nextroundlive.com, a great way to stream the show live or find easy-to-listen-to hour-by-hour downloads from the Next Round Live show and get the latest gear in the Next Round store. Make nextroundlive.com your homepage. That's nextroundlive.com. Day four of the World Games. We're about to talk to Lauren Sisler, who's part of CBS's coverage down of the World Games as she's taking a little time uh, sort of cross working. Uh, She does a lot of work with ESPN during the football season. But you can see a full list of day four competition events, including beach handball, which gets going today. Racquetball is going uh, I think we got the parkour. Um, am I saying that right? Parkour. Mm-hmm. Uh, we got parkour championship medal rounds today, which was sold out at Sloss. So a lot of fun things going on with the World Games. Uh, get the day four competition schedule right there at our social media at Next Round Live on Twitter. Nichols Outfitters is really excited to announce the opening of their brand new fishing department. If you haven't been by the store in a while, you need to go check it out. You will not recognize the place. All the brands, Ducket Fishing. 13 Fishing, Rapella Lures, True Bass, Shimano, Daiwa Fishing, Six Cents Fishing. It's all you've been asking for, the new fishing department, Nichols Outfitters, I-65 in Pelham. Sisler joins us now on the JohnstonRVCenter.com hotline. What's up, Lauren? How are you? Hi, guys. How's it going? I'm kind of giddy this morning getting to talk to my friends. Oh, giddy. We don't have many giddy <laughs> guests. No, we, we don't. don't. <laughs> we don't. Yeah, especially the first one out of the shoot. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> right, so I, w- I want to start with uh, I want to start with uh, what's your assignment today? I mean, there's so many different unique events. Do you know yet where you're going today? Uh, the answer to that is no. Um, that, that's kind of the cool part of this whole event is like we look at the schedule, we kind of break things down, we figure out where we're going. One of the key things for us, though, in t- terms of our coverage is 
we have to cover events that are actually being broadcast because obviously we don't have video to show for it. Then what's the point, right? right. So, um, you know, not every single event is being broadcast live necessarily or live to tape, but it's kind of like every morning we get up and usually between now and I would say 11 o'clock, we get our assignments because technically we'll go do like in a morning event and then we'll go do an evening event. So I heard you talking about parkour, which was the first time I'd experienced that because you know, that's a form of gymnastics, me, former gymnast, um, was so cool. And just to see the crowd out there, people were absolutely eating that up, uh, just like a unique sport, something I'd never seen and covered before. Um, it was really cool. And that's happening again tonight. So um, I know a lot of people will probably be out there for that one. So I know you were at Slaw's Furnaces last night for breaking and uh, the event was sold out. Uh, how do you score breaking? What was it like? What was the crowd like? I mean, first of all, the place was insane. So the, everything had gotten, I guess, shifted because the qualifying was supposed to be the night before. Um, and then obviously the finals was going to be a day later. Well, then everything got crammed into one day. So number one, like the way these people get ready for this event, I mean, it is absolute, just like the stamina that they have, the endurance. Um, it's incredible because they go out there and they're battling each other. And so essentially kind of how it works is, um, you know, I'll kind of take you through qualifying. There were 16 girls and they call them girls and boys. So it's, it's B breaking and G breaking girl breaking. So it's kind of interesting how the whole, the whole thing works, but um, basically the 16 get together and they put two people together and um, I'm not sure how they draw, like who goes against two, but they go out, compete, 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 compete. So they do the routine, 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 routine. And that's about like 30, 45 seconds, maybe a minute. And then the judges will judge them each round. And then if they get one-to-one, -one, it's tied, obviously. So most points advances. So the top eight, whoever has the most points out of the top eight end up advancing to the finals or the semifinals, I guess, quarterfinals, semifinals, finals. Um, but how the judging works, it's interesting because you look at it and you think a lot of it has to do with like the cool moves, like the, the moves where everybody's like, oh man, that was great, right? And you think that person's for sure gonna win. And then, oh, by the way, they don't. And you're like, what the heck? So learning more a bit about it. A lot of it has to do with the music. They have no idea what they're going to be out there dancing to, which is to me the coolest part. So they so, don't know, they don't know the music before they get out there. They just have to no, sort of ad lib. They completely ad lib. I think they obviously have a feel of the vibe, but that was the one thing I'd ask the girl that I did a feature with for the network um, that should be airing hopefully tonight. Um, Sunny Choi, she's from New York. And she said, you know, one of the biggest things is you can get a DJ that plays some really good music. And you're like, man, we can really pull off of this energy. And sometimes the DJ is just totally like, you know, so she said the music was great. It really helped with the energy and the vibe, but yeah, they have no idea. So a lot of it has to do with like, hitting their specific moves on the beat, right? And I mean, these are some crazy moves. They're spinning around on their shoulders, spinning around on their head. And then they're like, obviously doing, you know, different moves. So that was the part that was intriguing to me because how the heck do you just go out there? I mean, obviously freestyle, right? You're, 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 you're break dancing. It's sort of a freestyle sort of thing, but that all plays into it. But I just love, they like get in each other's faces and they're kind of like, oh, you know, whatever. And then at the end, they're like hugging each other and loving each other up. So it's a really cool like flip of emotion, like in just a matter of just a couple minutes. All right. Lawrence Sisler is with us on the JohnsonRVCenter.com hotline. You can follow her on Twitter at Lawrence Sisler. You're accustomed to seeing her on ESPN and the SEC Network. She is doing the world games, though, for CBS. Uh, do the, the This has been well attended. I mean, but obviously the fans don't know what's going on. They've never seen this. So what have the crowds been like at the events you have been to? Because mo as I said, not just break dancing or breaking, most of these events, the fans don't even probably really even know the rules. Well, and that's kind of what I was, I was joking with the, 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 the breakers yesterday, the break dancers, they were, you know, a lot of them are from, I mean, all over the country, but I mean, do we have any sort of breaking going on here in Birmingham? Cause I'd, I've never really known there to be like a breaking club or anybody that actually does a lot of break dancing oh, here. Um, back probably... in the eighties, man, we had our own cardboard oh, yeah. down in Alabaster. We'd <laughs> yeah. throw it out on the street. Have you never seen the movie <laughs> electric two? Uh, uh, what breaking, is it? Breaking, breaking two. two electric boogaloo. Right? Yeah. <laughs> well, wait, but where did that take place? Oh, just on the Not street. In Birmingham, Alabama. No, it was oh. in Calera. It was on the streets <laughs> everywhere. It was on the streets. 
Um, but yeah, that's kind of what the cool part about what these guys were talking about too. They're like, you know, so many people have this perception of like the cardboard on the streets, right? And there's actually a competition. Oh no, by the way, breaking is going to be in the 2024 Olympics, which is awesome. Um, that's that's what I think the cool part of all of these events are. A lot of them are trying to get elevated to that spot. Um, but yeah, breaking obviously was sold out. Parkour couldn't find a seat in the house. Um, John actually kind of he, he he came down to watch that event and there was nowhere to sit. So he's like, uh, I guess I'm gonna peace. Um, so unfortunately, you know, you have to be in certain spots with these different events. Um, powerlifting, I feel like brought a pretty big crowd. Obviously, um, I think as you got higher up in the in the weight classes, um, that tended that that was definitely um an event that a lot of people like to watch. Of course, sumo wrestling. I was not at sumo wrestling, but I heard it was nuts. I heard it was crazy. And I heard this Egyptian dude did this backflip and like had to redo the whole thing. I mean, it was crazy. I'm like, how in the world did this sumo wrestler do a backflip? Like that to me was insane. Um, yeah. Yeah, that, yeah, that should be celebrated, by the way. Yeah, just to have that yeah, weight. I know, that's what I said. Yeah. I was like, oh my gosh, like I would, I would, I would have, I mean, that that's to be able to do that. I mean, you'd, you can only see certain athletes do that. And this dude was pretty big dude. So um, pretty impressive. But I, I love the crowds. There have been a ton of people down here. I'm anxious to see what that looks like the rest of this week, since we'll be in the obviously middle of the week. But um, it's been cool to just see people and, and just lots going on down here downtown. So See, I thought I taught you better, though, back when uh, we worked together at CBS 42. You're supposed to take the per diem money that they offer you and not stay in a hotel in your hometown. You should have slept in your own bed and took that money and put it in your back pocket. Are you there? for? Okay. Is it security reasons? You're already through security, so you're there, so you don't have to worry about it. Is that why you're there? Yes, that is why I'm here, and that is why you can see over my shoulder. I have to make sure I'm going the right way here. I did try to make up my bed. See, that's my stash over there. I got my sodas. I don't know if you can see that. My sodas, my cheese it i've got a ton of monster drinks in my um refrigerator over here uh i loaded up because there is no grocery store around here no convenience store walking distance i don't have a car down here john literally dropped me off on um wednesday evening and i had a full cart of food and clothes i'm probably packed john literally said to me jim you'll love this he said lauren you act like you're going to a third world country for a month yeah I mean, well, I will tell you, the room looks a little junky. Yeah, Lance would, Lance would like you to clean up. Junky? I'm talking Come about. On. Well, my bed's not quite made, kind of. Well, but. no, I'm talking about your 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 uh, suitcases in the back right corner. Oh, yeah. See, there? if you were going to yeah. be there 12 days, I think, El, did yeah. you unpack? Is I everything I would hanging? unpack. I would put. Everything is hanging. Everything. Well, the suitcase, I have nowhere to put them. There's no closet to put them in. No, you put, a, you put it in the crack on the, uh, the other side of that other bed that you're not sleeping the in. Crack. Where nobody can see it. Oh, <laughs> between the bed and the wall. Yeah. So, I, well, I'll, I'll, I mean, are you that particular about when you, when you do you, are you, okay. How many days do you stay in a hotel where you're unpacking? Uh, if I'm staying more than three, yeah, I'm unpacking. Oh, not long ago. It was like a year and a half, wasn't it? <laughs> yeah. Uh, and, and I'll wow. tell you right when I get home, I unpack immediately. The first thing I do, like if I drive back from the beach, I'm immediately unpacking. No. Oh yeah. Yeah. I wish I would do that, but no, I don't. And do then you, it sits there for like five days. Do you put everything in the dirty clothes and wash it all? Or do you keep your dirties and your cleans separate and just separate. put the cleans back in the drawer? Yep. Interesting. Yeah. Yeah. See, I'm a typical Alabama media you? person, Lauren. I have a semifinal suitcase and a national championship suitcase. I pack them both on Selection Sunday, and I don't unpack the other when I get home. I just grab this championship and walk out the door. I'm joking. That's I'm joking. actually that's actually really smart. Uh, I think I I think that's 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 good. Then you don't have to think about it. I will say I get very much anxiety like with packing and figuring out. Like the closet in here is about this long, and I've got I mean I've got probably twenty tops just because. So first of all, it's super hot down here and like sweating through clothes. So oh by the way, I'm like having to change midway through the day. Keep laughing, Jim. I'm no, just saying. I, you're you're talking like. <laughs> It's super hot down here, like you're talking to us from Australia. Yes, we're you're really in, two you're, minutes away. You're yeah. downtown Birmingham, Lauren. I don't want to echo yeah, your... You're sitting in a studio. Uh. And I will say the fact that we don't know where we're going on a given day, I will say that I probably have gotten the luck of the draw um, because the only outdoor sports I've done, breaking and parkour, I did kumite, which was indoors. Um, that's a form of karate. And then I did, um, what did I do? Oh, powerlifting. And also did Latin dancing. So a lot of the things I've already done have been indoors. And oh, by the way, the gymnast here is going to get assigned to a lot of the gymnastic events, which are indoors this upcoming week. So I kind of think I got lucky, but um, poor Stormy, she lives out in Vegas. And she says, um, she she works for ESPN as well. And she works for uh, Vissen, um out there in Vegas. And 
literally said that this heat is like just you can't it's unmatched hotter like, than vegas, vegas. Hot, but this is really different wow. yes so, yeah. so so we've got 110 countries at least for athletes what about media though is there media from all over um yeah there's been a good bit of media from all over so it's been it's been kind of cool to, to to meet different people um you know i would say like every time we kind of set up for the medal ceremony that's sort of what where, where you kind of gather all the media together um i mean there's probably like 10, you know, five, you know, six, seven to 10 uh, type of media outlets. I will say all the federations are here. So the federations for the sports, and that's where you have to learn a lot about the sport because you can talk to the people at the federation and be like, okay, how does this work? You know, what's the, because it is a little different in this world games, I guess, than sometimes with different world competitions they're in. So trying to figure out how the sports work and, you know, the meaning, meaningful questions and sort of that, that, aspect of it so it's good to do that and talk to other media members media outlets that cover this on the regular final question i'm always fascinated by this uh you're you're in a double room sleeping single in a double bed situation why did you choose the bed on the closest to the window not closest <laughs> to the door and will you bounce back and forth bed to bed like tonight will you go to the fresh bed and, and rotate back or will you stay on the one closest to the window that's such, a that's such a great question. I partially think that I did that. Well, you know, they they do say that you want to be further away from the door. I've always been told um, that's like a security thing. But I don't. I mean, I, I didn't really think about that. Um, what, what does that even mean? Yeah. Does that give you like an extra three yeah. seconds I mean, if somebody kicks the door in? Like, yeah. That yeah. that yard and a half is going to save your life. You got time to draw down if you're in bed one, <laughs> bed two, you're done. Yeah. I don't know, but I'll be honest with you. And I'm glad I cleaned up because LT over there is Judgy McJudgerson. <laughs> I had that entire bed of other bed over there was like, it's basically like my work. Um, I have like my book bag, my credential. I had all my stuff kind of piled up on it. Well, I kind of neatly piled, but it doesn't look neat from here. So I literally just put my um, video off and took it in a swipe off the bed. So everything is sitting in the floor over here. Oh my God. Uh, LT go was going to judge me. I was, I was planning ahead. Uh, swiped it all. So, um, I might switch over. I haven't had a, I haven't had a service yet. A, um, cleaning service yet. I've been in here for three days. Is that weird too? Yeah. No, no, no. That's part of, but it's, it, after the pandemic, these two right here, I, I'm, I don't, I don't, I don't do it at all on a trip. Like yeah. I don't want anybody else in my room. I mean, those sheets now, or my sheets. So if, I mean, 12 days, I'd probably get a, a change yeah. of sheets. I mean, I'll, I might switch to the other bed and then eventually I might have them come in. I'll probably have them come in maybe twice while I'm here. I do it every day. Yeah, yeah. He does yeah, it do every too. day. Yeah. LT does it every day. Like if we go on these trips, if it's only four days, I may get, if I don't run out of towels, I may get another towel, but I will do a towel yeah. twice no. and I will, I don't, I don't have to change sheets or anything. Extra Those are my towels. sheets. Every yeah. Yeah. Those I mean, are my I've, sheets. I've already I've already gotten extra towels. I've swiped waters off the little thing, you know, yeah. like, yeah, I'm good. Yeah. I'm hey, good. if you're, let me ask you this. So you can never have enough water in my opinion. So if you're walking down the hall and there's uh, one of the maids like cleaning a room and they've got the waters on top of you, do you just swipe a water? That's what I've been swiping. Yeah. yeah I do every too. day I swipe about two or three because I only bought Coke zeros and monsters. So that's not really good. Um, and I've gotten on this kick of putting that Mio energy stuff in my water. So like half my waters are like, obviously have that, but I don't know if that's, is like good for you as actual water. So I don't know. I probably need to get a little healthier. You talk about junk. I got a lot of junk food over here. So. Yeah, of course. Yeah. Rockstar, well, do you have a, a behind the scenes travel question you want to ask Laurie? Yeah, I want to, I want to, uh, I want to hear from Rockstar. What's the weather like in Birmingham today? <laughs> <laughs> over where we are, it's kind of, it's, it's. 79 degrees. Yeah. <laughs> what time is it where you are, Lauren? <laughs> Whatever. It's 942. I am thankful they ought to make me get up super early. It's good nah. that your show is in the time slot because, you know, if it was that early time slot, I don't know if I could handle it. Well, will CBS allow you to do room service, though? Allow me? What do you mean? Oh, room service. You know what? I don't think they're actually doing room service. The only thing I saw that was available is for $35, you could get there's a buffet, like a dinner buffet, and it was already set. It was like you know, six or seven items. I'll be honest, like uh, Stormy and I literally like we'll take a one meal break. And um, Evan Washburn's down here too. He does the NFL for CBS and Andre Aldred. So we've had a couple opportunities to go get dinner, but we're in this rotation. We like go to the different places downtown. So I've literally hit up every place except for um, what's, oh, Eugene's. That's the only one we haven't really hit up yet. So we're going to kind of get this rotation going. Um, but like, we're not really outside the bubble. We could, we'd have to Uber and it's just kind of a pain in the butt. Yeah. 
All right, Lauren Sisler. A lot uh, of info I there. I missed y'all. Yeah, yeah, well, come see yeah, us. Yeah, come when see us. When you're back in town, come see us. <laughs> 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 it really feels like you're not in town. You're always on the road. I know. Yes. Okay, well, we all, um, y'all be good and come, maybe come say hi if you're down here at the World Games. Down, uh, you know, if, if you guys decide to get on a plane and travel here, let me know. Yeah, we'll let you know. We'll let you pick us up at the airport. Thank you, Lauren. Have fun today. <laughs> Bye. Love all y'all. I right, love you. That is Lauren Sisler with us on the Johnston RV Center.com hotline. Tell us all the good places to eat and stuff <laughs> yeah, like that. All right, Sisler there covering the World Games. Part of our show being brought to you by our friends at Odie's. Uh, Odie's Tavern of Birmingham Institution. If you're looking for a big-time lunch, stop by. Rodney Davis cooking that up for over 30 years now. Award-winning wings, delicious burgers, great sandwiches, including my personal favorite, the Diablo sandwich. You can sit out there, enjoy the ice-cold Bud Light in those buckets. And remember, every Wednesday, it's Odie's Team Trivia. We get started at 8 o'clock. Tell your friends, come out and see us. But go in today for lunch or dinner. Go see Will Haver and that great staff, Odie's. Tavern. Uh, Nick and others are saying, and Goose are saying, closest to the AC when you uh, take the one by the window, you're closest to the if AC. It, if I have to pick, if I'm not in a king king bedroom, yeah, I'm closest to wherever the AC is being distributed. Yeah. I, I hate closest having the two the double bed. beds. Yep. I like the one king, but if I have the uh, two I double the two beds, doubles. I typically sleep closer to the bathroom because I have to get up a couple times in the middle of the night. I go closer to the wall, and I don't know why, but I always like the one closest not to the outside wall, not to the AC, furthest from the AC, I guess closer to the door. I'd be the first one uh, taken in yeah. a in a hostage well, situation. If you're close to the outside wall, a bullet from outside may come in and kill you. That's right. You never know. Yeah. If it's your time, it's your time. That's right. When we come back, we will uh, get back into college football and what is going on there. The World Games tickets available for you and all your information at TWG2022.com as that continues here in Birmingham. The show being brought to you in part by the great folks at the University of Montevallo. Saw yesterday people getting ready to go to Montevallo to start the fall a semester you start rolling on college campuses in about a month from now if you've got a son or daughter who's starting to plan out their college days remember the university of montevallo montevallo.edu montevallo.edu schedule that in-person tour find out why montevallo is one of the best colleges in the south when it comes to the campus the student life athletics 21 ncaa division two sports and of course the price point they haven't wait, raised tuition in five years montevallo.edu montevallo.edu you. Follow Scott Forrester on Twitter at Scott Forrester TV. This hour of the next round is presented by Culver's. Now hiring full and part time at the Tattersall Park location off 119. Health and dental insurance and $14 to $16 per hour for full time hires. Apply in store or online at Culver's.com. Banking isn't just about your money, it's about you. It's about getting help with what you need when you need it. AmFirst was founded for members just like you, and they've been putting those members first since 1936. Putting you first means services that grow and change with the times to serve you better. Now, every bank has their own app, but that's just it. It's theirs, not yours. The AmFirst app was made for you, so it's easy to pay bills, deposit checks, or transfer money to friends and family from anywhere. You can even customize the app, which means you can personalize your dashboard, create usage alerts, and redeem points for rewards that will make you feel like the number one priority you are. And you can do it all on your own time. So what are you waiting for? Get the app made for you from AmFirst. Visit any AmFirst location or AmFirst.org today. That's AmFirst.org, America's first federal credit union federally insured by the NCUA. Hey, if you're looking for Birmingham's best pizza, you need to stop in and see our friends at Slice Pizza and Brew. It's as local as you can get from the ingredients that go into every pizza to the beer on tap for a great lunch or dinner. Go see our friends today, Vestavia or Lakeview at Slice. IV therapy, B12 injections, cryotherapy, and compression therapy all under one roof. It's our friends at HydraLive. Mention next round at checkout, save 20% off any service. HydraLive's got three locations, Homewood, Tuscaloosa, and coming soon to Greystone. Whether you're a weekend athlete or sports is your life, Precision Sports Medicine and Orthopedics wants to help you stay in the game. If you have an injury or pain that says, something's not right, let Precision Sports Medicine and Orthopedics help you make your greatest comeback. From concussions to sprained ankles, our experienced team is ready with treatment options. Find a doctor at precisionsportsortho.com slash providers.
Remember the name Way to Wellness if you're battling weight loss in your life. I'm Jim Dunaway from the next round. There was a time I was over 216 pounds until Way to Wellness helped me lose 45 pounds. And now for over two years, they've helped me keep that weight off. Here's their website, aplanforme.com, aplanforme.com. That's a great name for a website because there's no cookie cutter plan. Everything is designed specifically for you. No contract, no sign up fees, and your first consultation is free at Way to Wellness. Hey parents, is your son or daughter moving to Tuscaloosa this fall? Consider investing versus paying thousands in apartment rent. Lance Taylor here to tell you about our friend Tyler Bigby. Tyler is an award-winning realtor that helps parents find properties to save them thousands. Tyler also specializes in game day condos and residential homes. Find out today why Tyler is rated number one by RateMyAgent.com for Tuscaloosa County. Call 205-826-6476 for Tyler Bigby, the Advantage Realty Group. Once again, 205-826-6476. Summer means cookouts and spending time with the family and friends in the backyard. Ryan Brown here. Nothing can ruin a party like mosquitoes. Wayne's environmentally safe Mosquito Plus solution safely and effectively eliminates mosquitoes. Plus, they provide protection against fleas and ticks, helping keep your outdoor entertainment spaces safe, comfortable, and pest-free for your family and your four-legged family members. Wayne's has turned my backyard oasis into my happy place. They can do the same for you. Give them a call, 866-WAYNES-1 or call waynes.com. Anheuser-Busch wants every experience for you around beer to be a good one. And getting home safely is always a priority. So encourage friends to decide to ride. Whether it's by being the designated driver, calling an Uber, or taking public transit. You cannot drive drunk if you don't drive there. This message is brought to you by Anheuser-Busch. Mothers Against Drunk Driving. Uber, Birmingham Budweiser, and the next round. Anheuser-Busch. St. Louis, Missouri. Want more of the next round? Download the app or visit nextroundlive.com for the latest podcast. The Mystery Fifth Hour, our Not For All Ages podcast, The Last Call, and the entire Double Down Media podcast family. All at nextroundlive.com and on the Next Round app. Back with you on the next round. British Open Week over across the pond, 150th open at St. Andrews. A little bit on that before we get to the top of the hour. Talk to Dan Wetzel, who says we should be cheering the Pac-12 survives. That's with Wetzel at the top of the hour. The show being brought to you in part by our friends at Gutter Cap. Hey, it's a patent aluminum cover system. It fits over most existing gutters. It will keep debris out. You need to eliminate that gutter cleaning. It's back with a lifetime warranty. Look, it's a dirty, dangerous job. Stay off dangerous ladders forever. 20-year service record right here in Birmingham is Gutter Cap. Call my good friend Chris Stewart today, 205-823-2212. You can also go online, guttercapbirmingham.com. Remember, right now, 45% off the retail price, 823-2212. Cap it, don't snap it. Braves uh, sweep the Nats. Mets and Braves start a huge series. We'll talk more about that uh, coming up in the next hour as well. Game and a half back, the Braves starting that series tonight on Bally Sports. All-star teams are out. Braves did very well in that category. Um, In the golf world, uh, the British Open, they're allowing live players to play, but two-time British Open champion Greg Norman was asked not to attend the 150th anniversary of the Open, and that is important because you know he's sort of the face of heading up live and they're honoring all the past champions at 150 years and they told him uh thanks but no thanks don't show up in any other world he'd be there yeah in any other world he'd be there but in this world where he has become the face of uh the most controversial thing in golf he's been asked not to attend of course he's made a big deal about it and I mean, you know, this this kind of stuff is going to continue to happen. I mean, at some point, the majors are going to have to determine how they deal with these guys. Um, Some of them are going to take care of themselves. If these events don't get world rankings, they won't get in these events. But the guys that have won them before and have an exemption, how are they going to deal with that? Well, Greg Norman should have known or did know when he actually took this job as the face of live that, you know, there was going to be a lot of fallout and situations like this were going to occur. Yeah, but... with all due respect, when we think about the 2004 national champions, to us that's the USC Trojans, right? Right. In college football. Um, you cannot deny that Greg Norman is a two-time British Open champion, regardless of what he is doing now at this point in his life. And I understand what they're doing, Brown, and they don't want to distract from this having you know the face of Liv there because all the questions are going to be about Liv and blah, 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 blah. 
And that's going to be part of the conversation anyway. You're trying to steer away from it. But he is a two-time British Open champion. And if you're honoring living champions at a, at a banquet or on the course or whatever, it seems like you should have him there no matter what he is doing at this point in his life business-wise. It's not like he has gone out and murdered people. I think, um, well, especially with the point you put on the end there, I think if you're going to USC, maybe the better comparison is Reggie Bush, right? Yeah. We saw Reggie Bush win the Heisman. We saw him get the Heisman Trophy. He's a Heisman Trophy we winner We all think me. of him as a Heisman Trophy winner, but he's never been up on that stage, right? When, you know, Bryce Young goes and gets his Heisman and Billy Sims is up there and people like that are up there. And you use the f- murder thing. O.J. Simpson still has his Heisman. He literally was tried for murder, found, you know, to be uh, responsible in a civil case for the murder of two people. I thought they stripped it. I don't think they I did. I don't think they did. Not with O.J. They did with Reggie. But we all saw Reggie Bush as a Heisman winner, but he doesn't get to do any of the events. And this is kind of what it's like with Greg Norman. We saw him win those Open Championships, but if they've got any say so in the matter you'll never think of him as that again the other big story of course will be tiger woods and we'll get into that a little bit as we move throughout the week he did walk 18 holes and doing okay out there brown mentioned a little bit of that earlier so the open cranks up very early in the morning every day um later this week across the pond when we come back dan wetzel joins the show part of the show is being brought to you by cowan equipment we just sent out a poll question at next round live on twitter go vote there it's off the lauren sisler interview when you're in a hotel room you're solo but you got double beds do you sleep at the one closest to the window or closest to the door you can go vote right now it's brought to you by cowan equipment hey if you're having a hard time finding that new plastic on the seat piece of heavy equipment check out cowan equipment's rental fleet hit list for a wide range of well-maintained equipment from our rental fleet for sale now visit cowan dot com slash featured used equipment or call 800-239-COWAN for more information. Bama and Bourbon, the mystery fifth hour. Jimmy Buckets, available in the podcast section at nextroundlive.com. This hour of the next round is presented by Culver's. Now hiring full and part-time at the Tattersall Park location off 119. Health and dental insurance and $14 to $16 per hour for full-time hires. Apply in-store or online at Culver's.com. ERA King has the new Guaranteed Move program, which lets you compare instant offers with open market offers so you can choose how and when to sell your home. You can close with a quick cash offer, no showings, and no open houses, or you can explore multiple offers through a traditional listing. Available only through ERA King. Guaranteed Move puts you in control. Visit MoveWithKing.com or text MOVE to 35620. To learn more, that's MOVE, M-O-V-E, to 35620. Done building your family? A vasectomy is a safe, simple, effective option for birth control. When it was my time to take the snip, I used my friends at Urology Centers of Alabama. And there's no better time for a vasectomy. It's a great reason to be off your feet and be on the couch during the game with the wife's approval. It's a quick, in-office procedure covered by most insurances. Urology Centers of Alabama. 16 convenient locations. Call 205-922-SNP. That's 205-922-7647. A legendary coach once said, it's not the will to win that matters, it's the will to prepare to win. Bryant bankers have the dedication and experience to put together a financial game plan that's right for you. Stop by one of the seven Central Alabama locations today or give them a call at 1-855-4-BRYANT to begin preparing for your financial future today. You'll find out what unbeatable service and legendary results are all about. Bryant Bank, Equal Housing Lender, member FDIC. Summer of 2022, it's time to do something new. Ocean City, Maryland. And our friends at Residence Inn by Marriott, Ocean City is ready to welcome you. Kayak from Bayside Beach, swim in the Atlantic, dine at Bayview Bar and Grill, local golf packages, great restaurants, and a lot more. See everything online at residenceinnoc.com. Check them out on Instagram and Facebook. Do something different this summer. Residence Inn by Marriott, Ocean City, Maryland. Fire damage to your home or business is something you never want to consider. Ryan Brown here from the next round. But in the horrible event it happens, Dry Tech is here to help. They respond quickly and will reply to you within 20 minutes when you call 205-637-0143. They're working for you, the customer, not the insurance company. They've got five crews ready to go 24-7. Don't call the insurance company first. Call Dry Tech. Just remember this website, mydrytech.com. That is mydrytech.com. 
Anheuser-Busch wants every experience for you around beer to be a good one. And getting home safely is always a priority. So encourage friends to decide to ride. Whether it's by being the designated driver, calling an Uber, or taking public transit. You cannot drive drunk if you don't drive there. This message is brought to you by Anheuser-Busch. Mothers Against Drunk Driving, Uber, Birmingham Budweiser, and the next round, Anheuser-Busch. St. Louis, Missouri. The Double Down Media Podcast family is live and full of content for all ages. The Mystery Fifth Hour gives the next round host a chance to talk about everything but sports. Pour a glass of Bama and bourbon. Our weekly college football conversation while sipping some of the most interesting pours in the bourbon world. And our Not For All Ages podcast, The Last Call. LT takes off the gloves for an in-depth conversation with stars like Taylor Hicks, presented by Redmond Vodka. Find those podcasts and more by searching The Next Round on Apple, Spotify, and on our website, Next roundlive.com the next round store is live and loaded check out the latest logo t-shirts and hoodies get your favorite team colors the next round flag shirt or grab the popular y'all can have the rest t-shirts go to nextround.store that's nextround.store Let's face it, a home is one of the most powerful assets you can have. And our friends at Mortgage Right want to help you build wealth through home ownership. Mortgage Right is all about providing competitive rates, a variety of loan products, and a multitude of resources for a seamless home buying experience. They treat their borrowers like family and are always looking to bring more happy homeowners under their roof. See more by visiting mortgageright.com slash TNR today and start living. That's mortgageright.com slash TNR. NMLS 2239 Equal Housing Lender. Jim Dunaway, Lance Taylor, Ryan Brown, and Rockstar. Live from the Birmingham Racecourse Casino Studios, the next round, presented by Bud Light, is on now. We are 47 days away from the start of the college football season. Dan Wetzel in just a second. Braves tonight with the Mets, their game and a half back. The World Games continue here in Birmingham, day four of all the events. You can see the schedule at nextroundlive.com. And, of course, we're getting ready for SEC Media Days. A lot of stuff happening. We're about to talk college football with Wetzel after LT tells us about the great folks at Mortgage Right. Hey, inflation is out in full force, and now more than ever, rent costs are skyrocketing. Even though interest rates have risen, buying a home is proving cheaper than renting one. Stop throwing away money on rent. Turn to Mortgage Right with a variety of loan options. Options, assistant programs, dedicated mortgage experts. Mortgage Right makes buying a home in the current market as easy as possible. They know the financial hardships that are coming for renters and want to help you make the best investment for your future. Rent has risen 149%. No sign of it slowing down. Call Mortgage Right locally, 205 815 9200, or visit them online, mortgageright.com slash TNR. Uh, Blake asked if Mickelson was also asked not to show up. No, Phil Mickelson is there. He is uh, in on on virtue of his previous uh, championship, which is the way Norman would have played in this, though Mickelson also won the PGA Championship, so he's eligible for five years in the majors uh, that he wasn't already lifetime eligible in. Dan Wetzel is with us now. Dan is not playing in the Open Championship this week that I'm aware of. Are you in the field, Dan, or is your live tour, is that going to keep you away right now? Uh, Yeah, I'm on the live tour with that that sweet plane they've got, and – or I'm at the Red Run Golf Club member member. <laughs> hey, what would you just guess the per diem is for a live guy? I mean, after watching that plane action, it's insane. Uh, something significant. I don't know. Do you need any money? I would just live on the plane. Yes. <laughs> yeah, looks like right you, there. Looks like you could get lost in that thing, right? Nobody even yeah, sees you. Not, I mean, that is like this is the dream right there. Oh, my yeah. God. Yeah, you know, anyway, so, so, I can see why they're doing it. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Some buffets have chocolate fountains. Theirs have money fountains. You just sit there and put your cup in there and money falls into it. Uh, Dan, you wrote a story last week uh, that said we should be cheering for the Pac-12's survival. Uh, tell, me, tell me your chances or our chances that the Pac-12 survives this in any form or fashion that will, will uh, bring uh, us to any memory of what it used to be. Well, I don't know. I don't know. I would guess it's a little over 50 percent, but it's just totally up in the air. There's so many little triggers that could happen here to, to kind of end the Pac-12 as we know it. Now, you know, most of the teams in the league are going to find some spot to go to, and then whether those those new conferences, particularly a Big 12, would be able to maintain 
um, a level of, uh, you know, what level of like, you know, importance or relevance you would have on those leagues. We'll see, but you might lose, you might lose a few, you know, Washington state, Oregon falling down, Oregon state. I mean, um, I mean, look, the big 12 is being aggressive and they have terrific stability and, the really interesting proposal I've heard management about is, uh, look, the two Arizona schools, Arizona, Arizona State, Utah, and Colorado probably fit really nicely into that Big 12 geographically and then kind of mindset-wise. Oregon and Washington really want to get to the Big 10. Everybody does, but they might have a better idea. The Pac-12 is trying to lock everyone up for like, you know, eight, ten years. Nobody wants to do that necessarily, do you offer Oregon and Washington and say, hey, look, are any of these schools come to us, but you can leave if you get a Big Ten offer for, you know, some penalty, but something reasonable. And their Big 12 just sort of banks on them never getting asked. And, you know, some kind of deal that kind of could bring them. Because once you get two of those schools to jump, the rest are probably going to go because the Big Pac-12 will crumble. The Pac-12 is just down to 10 teams. And it's just extremely fragile right now. So it's a really wild game of like poker and business and everything getting potentially getting played, uh, at least getting bantered about whether those kind of offers are made. But Big 12 is trying to be predatory right now. Uh, and I don't blame them. I think every every conference should at this point. It, it stinks, but this is where we're at. Dan Wetzel is with us, national columnist, uh, Yahoo Sports at Dan Wetzel on Twitter. He's on the JohnstonRVCenter.com hotline. When they have the murder trial for the for the Pac-12, bare minimum, Dan, Fox TV has to at least testify, if not get convicted. Um, yet here they are still a partner for the Pac-12. That, that has got to be a really, really weird dynamic right now between the remaining Pac-12 powers and Fox, who was heavy-handed, you've got to believe, in this USC-UCLA departure. Absolutely. I mean, the Fox is basically running the the Big Ten media negotiations, and they have a a majority stake in the Big Ten network, and then are, are sitting in on all the meetings. They have their top executives, Mark Silverman, who used to run the Big Ten network, is sitting in on the meetings. So, you know what they were able to do with taking USC and UCLA is not only do they add value to you know, what was a $1 billion TV contract, potentially, let's say you add, you know, another $150, $200 million to that value. I don't know, whatever it is. Just by adding the, the LA market, what you also did was eliminate the Pac-12 as a viable plan B for these other leagues. So CBS, which needs, which needs content, NBC, which wants to build something around Notre Dame, uh, Turner, Apple, uh, Amazon, anybody, you know, clearly what's coming up, there are four properties coming up. There's Notre Dame, which is probably going to stay with the with the NBC. There's the Big 12, there's the Pac-12, and there's the Big 10. The Big 10 is plan A all the way, exclamation point, this is the league you want. But you could make an argument and say, look, we can't afford the Big 10, but let's say we just go all in on the Pac-12, or let's say we go all in on, on uh, particularly the Pac-12, not a horrible plan B. Maybe we're CBS and we say we're going to go in on that and we'll try to build that 330 window around Pac-12 games and do whatever we can. Yeah. Now when you take USC UCLA out, that's not a viable plan B. So it's like if there's two houses for sale in, the, in, a, in a neighborhood, you can build an addition on your house and make it nice, and that helps, which would be USC at UCLA. You can also tear down half the other guy's house. <laughs> and then no one wants to live in it. And so everyone now is bidding on one house. So it's just supply and demand. So what, what Fox did to the Pac-12 uh, in that was, was certainly something we would have a lot of hard feelings about the Pac-12 school. 10 years, 20 years, 30 years, 50 years from now, could you see a world where we have a USC and a UCLA and a Texas and Oklahoma who say, you know, these conferences are too big. We need to regionalize these things and go back backwards to the way they used to be uh could you ever see that down the road or do you think this is forever i think this is forever in football here here's what i would love to see happen is 
we make football decisions and then we make all the other school, all the other team decisions. I do think there's a lot of strain if you're USC or UCLA on all your other teams. Uh, you know, you're a baseball team, you're a soccer team, you're a, you know, whatever you're playing out there, gymnastics, and you're traveling nonstop up to the Midwest, midweek games, things like that. It makes zero sense, right? You play UCLA baseball, you don't want to be playing in Lansing, Michigan on a Wednesday night. Um, so, the, you know, that type of stuff I could see becoming a problem. But I think the football money just gets so big. Football is so popular in this country. Gambling will continue to make it even more popular uh, as that continue to get legalized in most states. That I just think uh, it, to try to like break free of that would be just so difficult to try to balance the budgets because these these athletic departments are not businesses. They are they whatever they get they immediately spend, and so they can't really withstand a drop back in any way. So. I think this is it. I just think we keep pushing closer and closer to a to a two conference or you know three conference kind of deal that you know I'm not in favor of, but I certainly understand that's more of a romanticized uh, you know wishful thinking. Um, I think we just keep heading to to more and more pushing upwards. Yeah, I'm right there with you, man. I like how the Power Five was, um, but better chance Big Twelve and Pac Twelve survive, or ultimately we just have two conferences. Big Ten and SEC? I think we have two major conferences, and then there's another conference. You know, I think in the long term, um, you know, when you're talking 20 years, right? I mean, is Clemson and, and Florida State and those ones in the SEC in 2037? Yeah, yeah, I could totally see that. Totally makes sense. Like, I don't know how those league teams are going to survive – five, eight years down. I mean, when you're, you're 50 million behind every year, you know, you're half a billion behind in 10 years. I mean, it's just the money becomes unbelievable. So it's, it's hard to, to manage that. We'll, we'll have $300 million athletic departments in five years, and you'll have other people trying to run them on 120 million. The expenses just get so big. So, uh, you know, I mean, for the short term, I think there's, hopefully there's five, I like I like the whole thing. I like college sports in totality. I love tuning in at 10:30 on a Saturday night in Washington State, throwing the ball 50 times in a snowstorm in Pullman, Washington. I like that. <laughs> right? Uh, it, I'm not a fan of Washington State. I just like the whole circuit. I like 131 teams playing. I love 80, 90 games some Saturdays. I like the whole thing. And when you start peeling that back to try to create an AFC NFC. And, and the competitiveness loses from that and, the, and even the relevance. Like, there's just no chance of these teams ever making a playoff or ever, you know, getting good. It, it, yeah, it'll hurt it. And that's the part I don't want to lose. But money talks. These are money decisions. Um, and so I just think, you know, this, this will just continue to, to filter up. Dan Wetzel for a few more moments on the JohnstonRVCenter.com hotline. Add Dan Wetzel on Twitter. He's with Yahoo Sports. Do you think there, as you peel the onions, as you said here, if the Pac-12 falls apart, the old appeal that the Rose Bowl always had, Pac-12 champion, Big Ten champion is dead. Do you think this gets the Rose Bowl basically back in the rotation the way everyone else is and maybe convinces them to bid on hosting the national championship game at some point? Some people have you know, bemoan the fact that we'll never see a national championship game played in the Rose Bowl again. Could this change that? Well, I think the Rose Bowl absolutely will have to be, you know, they're going to have to, it, it, it's over for them to just sit there and say, hey, I'm getting the uh, the Pac-12 Big Ten champ. I mean, you know, that those days are over. Uh, the Pac-12 spent so much time protecting their bowl partner, they didn't protect themselves. Uh, you know, they, they literally cited the Rose Bowl six months ago on why they turned down a playoff proposal led by Greg Sankey that would have provided them an automatic bid. And if they had that automatic bid right now, their television packet is worth more. And a school like Oregon would say, yeah, we want to leave, but man, we got a pretty nice path to this playoff. Now all we got to do is beat these other nine schools, which were better than, um, we're going to make the playoff a bunch. This should, this would be good for us. And they'd have access to a, what would be a $1 billion playoff. Proposal. They turned all that down six months ago. And one of the reasons they cited was, well, what are we going to do with the Rose Bowl? Who cares about the Rose Bowl? Save yourself, right? 
So they put themselves in this position by by rejecting a playoff plan that was a life preserver. And I don't know what playoff plan is going to come when they come up with the next one, but it's going to be decided not by unanimous vote, but basically by whatever Kevin Warren and Greg Sankey come up with and say, hey, here's the playoff plan. You guys are either in or you're out. We can do this ourselves. We can do this ourselves. And that's a that's a bad spot for for that league to be in. So the the Rose Bowl will have to have to adapt the way everybody else is adapting. The idea the Rose Bowl can sit there and say, "This is what we did a hundred years ago," dude. UCLA just is going to play Rutgers. Okay, <laughs> there's, no, there's no tradition. It's over. Right? There's nothing. You can't fall back on anything. We gave up. So I don't know what you guys are smoking out there, but it, it's not what's going to be. Your little flower parade doesn't matter anymore. It's, it's normally the good stuff is what they're smoking out there, by the way. It's pretty good in California. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Dan Wetzel, read him at Yahoo Sports. is the New York Times bestseller with the Epic, Epic Athletes series, which is great for your kids with some of the great athletes that they have grown up watching. And uh, Dan tells the story behind them. Great for young readers. Uh, you can get it wherever you get books and also Killer Inside. Not great for the kids, but good uh, entertainment. The Aaron Hernandez Netflix documentary, which we've all watched and absolutely loved. Uh, Dan, thank you for the time. As always, fun talking with you. Have a great week. Appreciate it, guys. Take care. All right, you too. Dan Wetzel with us on the Johnston RVCenter.com hotline. All right, we roll on lock of the day every day from LT. Uh, Lance'sLock.com, always a place to go to get all of his plays. He'll send out a lock for tonight's baseball a little bit later on at the Lance Taylor at the Lance Taylor. A couple of interesting games tonight. Uh, you got the Mets and Braves series. More on that in just a second. But also uh, Boston and Tampa Bay. The Rays got swept by the Reds. Boston split with the Yankees. Uh, so both those teams are still wild card teams. The first and second place of the three wild cards. So a big series in Tampa tonight. And you can watch that on ESN or Bally's Florida. Uh, if you have those or your extra innings package, we'll see if Lance plays either one of those games. It's brought to you by our friends at Hemp Hill Sports. When something's not running right, not Hemp Hill Sports, Hemp Hill Services. When something's not running right, flowing right, or da- uh, draining right, you can call our friends Adam and Chad at Hemp Hill, like people have been doing since 1954 for all your plumbing, cooling, and heating needs. Trust the name Birmingham's trusted since 54. It's Hemp Hill Services, 205 205- 229-2090, 229-2090, or just remember the name Hemphill, and they'll fix it, fix it right the first time, and they'll fix it at a fair price. That Mets and Braves series is very interesting because the Braves have closed the gap now to a game and a half. They start a series tonight in Atlanta, and uh, you have the Braves coming off a sweep with the Nationals. Austin Riley's ripping the cover off the baseball, had a home run and a game-winning hit yesterday to finish the sweep. And, um, I mean, it's not like the Mets are playing bad baseball. The Braves have just been playing better. And so two of the better teams in the National League get to go toe-to-toe again tonight. Boy, and what a pitching matchup, too. The Maxes, Freed against Scherzer. Mm. I mean, that's, that's, that's going to be I, – I would assume a lot of our listeners and viewers will be going to that game tonight. Yeah, going or watching it uh, on Bally Sports. Uh, it's one of those matchups that really uh, – that, that you really want to dial in. The, the All-Star team was announced, and uh, no Austin Riley on that. Now, Austin Riley right now. That's shocking. 10th in hits in Major League Baseball, 11th in RBIs, 5th in home runs, and he's not on the, he's not on the All-Star team. Why do you think that is? Uh, I don't know. That's probably the biggest, I mean, one of the, if not the biggest snub for me. Yeah, I mean, the fan vote didn't get him, right? Right. And so someone could have added him. They could have added him, I guess. But, I mean, I'm listen, the, the, the whole deal with the All-Star thing, I hate guys get snubbed, but it is the fans' game. So whoever the fans vote for, I think, ought to go play. But they've got some stop gaps in there to keep a guy from Austin Riley like getting left out. Yeah, I mean, look, he's on pace for 40 40- Home runs, 100 RBIs, and, you know, hitting over 280. Yeah, one of those special years. Um, he he really, you know, he's looking for that first all-star move. And uh, I, I think, you know, it'll come one day. But, you know, this year in Dodger Stadium, it would have been cool. Ronald Acuna Jr., of course, is there. William Contreras is now the DH from the Braves. He got that because of an injury he's in. Max Freed is in there. Travis Darno is in there. And Dansby Swanson's in there. Well, the cool thing, and Dansby's having a great year too, but the cool thing about Contreras is his brother, yeah. Wilson, also. It'll be the first time since 92 when Sandy and Roberto Alomar played together as brothers. Wow. So the All-Star game, I assume it's uh, a week from tomorrow. 
Um, in you know, L.A. In L.A. So it should be a lot of fun. Big night of baseball, though, for the Braves and the Mets. All right, Rockstar's Viewing Menu College Football coming up. The show being brought to you in part by our friends at Bud Light Next. If you're looking for that cool, calming drink when it's hot outside, heat index over 100, nothing better than Bud Light Next. It's the next generation of beer. Wherever you buy beer, you can uh, find them in the cool-looking can. Zero carbs and 80 calories. It's wherever you buy beer. Look for that logo right there. It is Bud Light Next. One uh, story here before we get to viewing menu. Uh, LT, you would you would admit all of us, we occasionally um, – battle through some challenges in life right yeah i mean i'm watching the, the, the one leg golfer right now who's one under by the I'm, way i'm telling you guy can play yeah well I've, I've got a story this was on cbs sunday morning yesterday is this one you're going to try to make me cry yeah this is the one i want to try you to think make. there's a shot i think there is i think there is because imagine if you're a, a dog and you lose a front leg that'd be bad and you have to learn to, to get around not only have you lost the use of a front leg you have, are now limited of the other leg on the front dexter is a dog out in uray colorado and forcer has gone to the instagram page this dog has learned to walk upright oh my gosh um it gives me chills to look at this dog who is just loving life and because of the the injury this dog walks around on upright on just the hind legs walks like a human is that not amazing that, that is amazing because i've seen and i still see them all the time three-legged dogs oh yeah yeah they'll get after it yeah, yeah look, and they, look, and they, they walk, walk fine oh man <laughs> my god yeah. it. it's got a good fortune yeah. and now the dog is like a fan favorite it, always in parades in the area people actually when they're in that town of your ray they they want to see they want to see dexter and they hope to catch a sight of dexter walking down the streets of your ray colorado Wow. Just an amazing scene of overcoming. I wonder if he just shits on the go, too, because he's already standing. <laughs> you thought you were going to make him cry. Yeah. You just made him think. Yeah. <laughs> you thought you were going to make no, him cry. No, you can't make me cry. That dog is so happy. Look yeah. how happy that dog is. Don't know he, was, he told me to break. He's like, bro, I think this will get him. Sweet and miss. Yeah, I don't know he was set me up for the video. No, and, those, uh, those, those, those freaking horrible uh, Sarah McLaughlin commercials. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you, you, you missed the. This is a dog overcoming, though. The story know. before. Yeah. I mean, yeah. He, he had wheels at first, and he just yeah. didn't like that, and he couldn't go upstairs. He couldn't play with other dogs or anything. But you're right. The look on his face oh. now that he's able I mean, to. He's smiling it, nonstop. It's, it's like a, uh, I mean, it looks like he could walk up to a, a bar and order a drink. I mean, it's like a cartoon character. Yeah, it really is. Uh, I had a, a friend in high school, and they found a dog on the side of the road with three legs, and they named it Road Pizza. Mm, sounds awful. It's a long name. No, they brought it in. Come here, Road Pizza! <laughs> road Pizza! Um, it's sort of like a character in BoJack Horseman there, though, I think. Yeah, it really is. I mean, Brown's right. It looks animated almost. It does. Like, what was Pluto? He was not a dog. Not Pluto. Uh, Goofy. Goofy was a cow. He was I a think. cow, but he no. walked on his hind legs. Yeah. He wasn't a cow. Yeah. It's always been a cow. That's well, always been be one of the big and debates. He had a dog named Pluto. That's a dog. Pluto was a dog. I don't know what Goofy was. Uh, will we go by Wikipedia? Yeah. No, the, the, deba yeah. the debate has always been Bojack's a horse, but is Pluto a dog or a cow? And I think the answer is cow. Uh, Does Goofy, Goofy identify now? According to Wikipedia, if we'll go by that, Goofy is a cartoon character created by the Walt Disney Company. He is a tall, anthropomorphic dog. That's what I said. So Goofy, I mean, that, this is the human Goofy. It's a dog that walks on his, uh, his hind legs. Nothing Goofy about Dexter, though. Fantastic video Ooh, there. Thank you, Forrester, for that. When we come back, uh, Rockstar is viewing menu 47 days away, but we're just seven days away from SEC Media Days. We're in Atlanta live show next week thanks to all of our great sponsors be tuned in an extra hour every day monday through thursday from atlanta right here on the next round take the next round anywhere you go with official next round gear buy yours today at nextround.store the Iron Bowl. Jordan Hare Stadium behind us that saw a classic Iron Bowl 24-22. The Crimson Tide holds on and wins in overtime. The SEC Championship. It is the SEC Road Show Saturday morning in Atlanta. The college football playoff. It's our Cotton Bowl special from Dallas, Texas. We are live now. The National Championship. Jim Dunaway, Lance Taylor, Ryan Brown with you up here in Indianapolis. We're at the playoff fan central. The next round. 
You'll find us where the big games are played. Remember the name Way to Wellness if you're battling weight loss in your life. I'm Jim Dunaway from the next round. There was a time I was over 216 pounds until Way to Wellness helped me lose 45 pounds. And now for over two years, they've helped me keep that weight off. Here's their website, aplanforme.com, aplanforme.com. That's a great name for a website because there's no cookie-cutter plan. Everything is designed specifically for you. No contract, no sign-up fees, and your first consultation is free at Way to Wellness. Whether you're a weekend athlete or sports is your life, Precision Sports Medicine and Orthopedics wants to help you stay in the game. If you have an injury or pain that says something's not right, let Precision Sports Medicine and Orthopedics help you make your greatest comeback. From concussions to sprained ankles, our experienced team is ready with treatment options. Find a doctor at precisionsportsortho.com slash providers. This is for the men who never settle, the ones who miss the fairway all day and still pull out the big stick. The type of guys who will always prefer to be behind the grill than in front of the camera. And the men who never let their friends forget about a high school nickname. This is the Lodge mentality. This is Twin Peaks. Who wants to settle for a single TV? With more TVs, bigger screens, plus our fabulous scenic views, there's more to watch at Twin Peaks. IV therapy, B12 injections, cryotherapy, and compression therapy all under one roof. It's our friends at Hydra Live Therapy. IV therapy treatments are packed with nutrients to increase energy, reduce stress and anxiety, and boost your immune system and more. If you mention the next round at checkout, save 20% off any service. You can join the IV League today. Members are rewarded with deep discounts. Make sure you ask about that. Hydra Life Therapy open seven days a week. Homewood, Tuscaloosa, and coming soon to Greystone. Banking is not just about your money, it's about you. It's about getting help with what you need when you need it. Ryan Brown here for the next round. AmFirst was founded for members like you, and they've been putting those members first since 1936. Putting you first means service that grows and changes with the times to serve you better. Now every bank has their own app, but that's just it. It's theirs, not yours. The AmFirst app was made for you. So it's easy to pay bills, deposit checks, or transfer money to friends and family from anywhere. It's even customizable, which means you can personalize your dashboard, create usage alerts, and redeem points for rewards that will make you feel like the number one priority you are. And you can do it all on your own time. So what are you waiting for? Get the app made for you from AmFirst. Visit any AmFirst location or AmFirst.org today. America's First Federal Credit Union is federally insured by the NCUA. Let's face it, a home is one of the most powerful assets you can have. And our friends at Mortgage Right want to help you build wealth through home ownership. Mortgage Right is all about providing competitive rates, a variety of loan products, and a multitude of resources for a seamless home buying experience. They treat their borrowers like family and are always looking to bring more happy homeowners under their roof. See more by visiting MortgageRight.com slash TNR today and start living. That's MortgageRight.com slash TNR. NMLS 2239 Equal Housing Lender. Hey, it's Jim Dunaway. Let me take a second to talk about my friend Greg from Pell City and his company, Storm Restoration Roofing. He's the owner and has been locally owned for over 20 years. Insurance companies love Greg, and that's going to benefit you, the customer. Storm Restoration Roofing is A-plus rated with the Better Business Bureau, and they'll give you a free no-cost inspection. No obligation, no cost. 205 205- 542-3531, 542-3531, or look up Greg from Pell City on Facebook. It's Greg Nelson and Storm Restoration Roofing. All right, back with you on the next round. Brad with two Ds, hush your mouth, man. He says, y'all go to Wikipedia too much. They're wrong a lot. No, no, no. No, no Wikipedia, no. Is, Wikipedia the is never wrong. Yeah, it goes I, Bible, uh, drop down, then Wikipedia. I think two. I told you guys that time I uh, interviewed uh, um, Mike DuBose. Mm-hmm. And there was a story of Wikipedia how he lost one of his nuts in a Notre Dame game. <laughs> and I asked him about it. And he no, said, wait a he said, yeah, that's a true story. He, he goes, also had Rick Buecher on. He said, on the Wikipedia, they said, your nickname's the Slithering Snake. And he's like, I don't know what that is. <laughs> <laughs> he said you were invited to dog the bounty hunter's wedding or something like that. W- weren't, you, uh, weren't you with me when yeah, uh, I asked that about DuBose? Yeah. yeah. I can't what remember his, his answer. Reaction? No, he was in shock. <laughs> uh. 
<laughs> but he said, I wonder it's if it like, still is on his Wikipedia. Will you check it, bro? Yeah. But yeah, it said he lost a nat in the uh, Notre Dame game. Uh, Brad, like, it's Damn, a, man, that's, that's a bad injury. Uh, Brad, it's a running uh, theme on our show is that we believe everything we read on yep. Wikipedia knowing that it's not all true. Um, but we always go to it. We always, and Bre- Brown always says this. If you believe what's on Wikipedia, right. and he and he goes that way. So. I, I think. Well, I don't know. Um, do you go to a Google more or Wikipedia? Wikipedia. Uh, Wikipedia a lot. Yeah, it's really close. Though. I Google the name, but Wikipedia is the first thing that pops up. So then I hit that. Um, I do not see that that story is still up there. So apparently, Mike got that one pulled down. Yeah, it's my fault. No, no fun. Uh, no fun at all. Uh, Part of our show brought to you by New Life. It brings you rock stars viewing menu every day. Our friends at New Life Art. Yeah, New Life Art bringing you the memorable uh, art for 